time to set up a simple Slim application. If you already know what you're doing with Slim, feel free to skip this part. If you want to download the code for what I'm about to do, you'll find that as always in the course downloads. So uh, let's get started then. I have just have an empty directory here and I'm gonna do a composer require on Slim Slim as always and just wait for this to finish. And now that's done, what I usually do is go ahead and create a public folder. In this case, I'm not going to just because it's a little bit more set up. So I'm gonna go ahead and just create an index.php file in the root here. Uh, but of course, it's always a good idea to have a public directory where you can keep not only your index file, but all of your compiled CSS and JavaScript as well. So just inside of here then, obviously we need to require in vendor autoload, just so all of our composer dependencies are in there and ready to go. And we can create a new Slim app instance. So Slim app. And just for the purpose of this, I'm going to, as I usually do, just turn on error reporting. Just in case we see any problems, we'll see the errors in the stack trace. So within here, within this array, we're just gonna say display error details, and we're gonna turn this on. There we go. So now let's just grab out our container. So I'm gonna say container, and this is gonna be app get container. We're gonna need that later. And then finally, we will run our app. Now for any other URIs, we need to make sure that we have an HT access file in here, or if you're using Nginx, you'll need to set this up. You can find all of this information on the Slim documentation. What I'm just gonna do for now though, is copy and paste exactly uh, what is on the Slim documentation. Uh, if you do need to find any more information, you can find that just over here in the web server section. Okay, so now that we've done this then, let's just head straight over to the index here and we get a page not found, which is absolutely fine because we don't have any roots set up. So before we do anything else, I want to set up views. So uh, again, we're just gonna head straight over to the Slim documentation. We're gonna come all the way down here to the add-on section under templates and we want to install Slim Twig View because we need to uh, be able to work with views. And this is really fundamental as well to the way that we're going to be setting this up because we're going to be creating an extension for our cross-site request forgery uh, helper function. So now that that's installed, we just need to bind this into the container, so register it, and we can do that simply and pretty messily, but we're only messing around here by just pasting this in here. So uh, what we need to do now is just go ahead and create some kind of views folder. I'm going to create this under a resources folder, and I'm going to then create a views folder here. And in here, why don't we just create a simple view? So I'm gonna call this home.twig, and we can go ahead and just write home in here just to test things out. So uh, really importantly, when we do register this on our container, we need to point to our resources views folder. So we just go ahead and do that. And for the cache, I'm just gonna disable it for the purpose of this video. But you can, of course, uh, create a cache directory just to speed things up a bit. Okay, so uh, what we're gonna do now is just very quickly return a template within a very simple root here, and then we'll go ahead and move on. So in here we get our request, our response, and our args if we need them. And here we're just gonna return this view render, passing in our response, and of course pointing to that home.twig file. So now on the home page we should see that home template rendered, perfect. Okay, so last thing before we move on, uh, we're gonna be storing everything inside of an app directory just here. So what I want to do is make sure that this is auto-loaded. So over in composer.json, let's just set up auto-loading. So we're gonna auto-load using PSR4, like so. And we are going to, in here, give our vendor namespace of app, and we're gonna to point to the app directory. So one thing to do, composer dump auto load and we're done. So that is our simple Slim application set up. Like I said, if you are new to Slim, if you're having any problems with setting things like this up, head straight over to the course download section on this lesson and you can go ahead and download all of this code as you see it here.